Hello and welcome back to day four of my solve of the Ravensburger Escape the Sunken Submarine Advent Calendar, where each day we have to work out where the next door is. Um, now, yesterday I worked out that door four was down here. And just for context, the whole calendar looks like this, it's quite big. There's 24 doors on it. Um, and each day, as I say, you have to work out where each one is. I worked out the door four was here. And as always, I've had to open it the day before to confirm it was correct, because inside the door there's a number four. Now, let's see what's in here. There is a card. Each day I've had one of these cards that I think I'm meant to break into two. I'll just zoom in, I think, actually, to help. Right, what does today's one say? Wow, here's the submarine. Let's take a closer look. Hmm, this seems to be the ballast tank. What do the numbers on the wall mean? Some of it is hard to read. And then it says north-south direction, 190 metres becomes 19 degrees. And east-west direction, 130 metres becomes 33 degrees. And then we have a bag with this, with this thing in. Okay, let's open this, see what it is. Um, get rid of the bag. Okay, so it's a dial, and I presume it lets us convert between these, probably. Yeah, because the numbers are all on there. We'll come back to that in a second, because I'm interested in what it says about the room. Now, I'm going to switch to my other camera. Right, there's the four on the back. Um, and this is the right, and it's referring to, I guess, on the right-hand wall of the room. It says... North 150 meters, and then it's something that's been rubbed out, and east 180 meters for something that's been rubbed out. Um, and there is, just have a quick look, move that out of the way. There's nothing else in the room. So north 150, east 180. Now, it's worth mentioning that around the edge of the calendar, as I've shown on other days, there are what appear to be like latitudes and longitudes, although we're going up away from the centre of the planet, in up and down in water, so it's not really a longitude, uh, a latitude even. But um, here we go. It told you to ignore the first number in each case. So we've basically got from 19 at the top on the left down to 16. And on the top, we've got 35 here. Can you see that? No. 35 all the way across to, uh, across to, you can just see 30 on the right, and there's a compass here which shows that north is up on the box, so away from the centre of the Earth. And uh, west is to the left of the box. Right, so, if I am looking at coordinates on here, the minute it says 19 degrees 33, then 19 degrees must be a north-south coordinate here, and 33 degrees must be an east-west coordinate, so it would be here. But clearly, this isn't going to be that. You can't see the card anymore, can you? But clearly, this isn't going to be the solution. Uh, but I mean, it's very unlikely to be giving you the answer. So that thing in the room, I presume I need to use this to convert these coordinates into a different coordinate on the box. That must be what there is, all there is to it, I imagine. Let's have a look on the back of the cards. Yeah, it's got interesting. It's got writing a scrawled IW or possibly a scrawled MI. There been there was a scrawled O yesterday, and the calendar has mentioned on the box that you should keep cards, um, keep things for later days as blank. So I assume I'm collecting bits of a word or something like that, um, which I will assemble on a later day. I don't know. I don't think I need that for today is my guess. I think we're just converting now. On here, it says that... Let's have a look again. It says that... That's not the right thing, is it? It's this bit I need. It says that 190 is 19 degrees. So let's turn those... Oh, there we go. 190 is 19 degrees. And the other bits don't line up very well. But I think that's just because of the way it's been assembled or printed, because there are five, five, yeah, there are ten on both wheels. So there's no reason why they shouldn't line up. I don't think they're intended to not align. I think it's just the way it's been printed and assembled right. Okay, so if north, south, 190 is 19 degrees, then north, 150 degrees would be 33. Oh, you can't see that. It would be 33. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. That's... That's an east-west coordinate. I think someone's... Well, I'm confused, or the person who designed the puzzle is confused. Okay, so we go 33 degrees east-west, even though it says north. I suppose, charitably, it's... It's uh, on the northernmost uh, key, <laughs> northernmost scale, but that's inconsistent. Then we have 180 metres east. Okay, so... That corresponds to, wait, I have to align the dial first, with 130 being 33. Um, 
130 is 33. So 180 would be 18, which is also obviously not an east-west coordinate. I'll move this camera, it's blocking me from moving the calendar. It's obviously not an east-west coordinate. 18 is a north-south coordinate. At least it was until this point in this puzzle. So anyway, I think it might help if I zoomed out. I'm looking at this row. I must be, mustn't I? There's no other possibilities because they're not inside the range. I'm looking at this row in this column, 1833. I'm looking for this square here. It's not very satisfying, but that must be the case. I don't think there's, there's any other credible explanation. So let's open this door to check that this is my door for day five. And I, also, it's possible I'm missing something and I'm misunderstanding, but I don't think so. Oh my goodness, this per, these perforations are... Like perhaps I'm just a, a weakling. Right, I want to have a five. Yep, yeah, there's a five, so I don't even need to pull out a card for tomorrow. So we have solved that. Now, I will write on the door that this is day five, so that I can locate it again more easily tomorrow. <laughs> well, there we go. That's the calendar solver today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please do come back tomorrow when I will solve that door we just labelled. At least I will try to. And um, if you did enjoy it, then why not click here and subscribe to my channel or view my playlists of my solves of other calendars. These are last year's ones when I sold three calendars and this year's ones when I'm on the, in the process of trying to solve three calendars, including this one. Anyway, I hope to see you again in another video and take care for now. Bye.